some breaking news. We are just hearing that uh, Shamima Begum has lost her appeal against the removal of her UK citizenship. This is uh, a woman who, at the age of 15, in 2015, left the UK and travelled to uh, Syria to join the Islamic State group. And uh, she was stripped of her British citizenship at the t by, by the um, Home Secretary at the time, Sajid Javid, because of her involvement um, with the extremist group. Uh, she has appealed against having her citizenship stripped, but she has now lost that appeal. Let's uh, speak to Anthony Glees, a uh, security expert from the University of Buckingham. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning. Um, what, to what extent was this what you expected the decision to be? Well, it is very much what I expected the decision to be, and I hope it, it, it sort of settles the matter. Uh, this is, of course, a tragedy for Shamima, but it is also much more of a tragedy for all the people who lost their lives at the hands of the brutal, sadistic, so-called Islamic State, whom she supported. It's also a question of politics, what would have been the implications if she had been allowed to come back to the UK and regain her citizenship. She wasn't the only person who'd been stripped of her citizenship. 150, about 150 people, we're told, have also been stripped of their citizenship. All of them would have appealed. And had she come back to the United Kingdom, whatever her own views were, she would have been treated as an icon by Islamists in the United Kingdom kingdom. So I'm not surprised. Um, the, the politics of it were wrong. But the bottom line is this is the law and we all of us believe in lawfulness. The government has been found not to have broken the law. As I say, I'm not surprised. And I think we should now draw a line under the matter of Shamima Begum.